Today, the three former Anglican bishops who have converted to Roman Catholicism were ordained priests at Westminster Cathedral. Earlier today, I went along to Skye to discuss the ramifications of this. But first, listen for yourselves and watch the Skye package. Ron, three former Anglican bishops have made history by being ordained into the Roman Catholic Church. The three men left the Church of England because they are unhappy with his decision to allow women to become bishops. Sky's Jane Dougal reports. I ask you again to express your welcome and your warmth and your greeting to our three first priests of the ordinary. It took under an hour to undo generations of tradition. But tradition is the reason these three former Anglican bishops have converted to Catholicism and become priests. John Broadhurst, Andrew Burnham, and Keith Newton feel the Church of England has moved away from its traditions by allowing women to become bishops. In a statement, Mr Newton, the ex-bishop of Richborough, said, I can look back at over 35 years of ordained ministry with tremendous gratitude. The Church of England nourished me in the Christian faith. I do not see my reception into the Catholic Church as a radical break, but part of the ongoing pilgrimage of faith which began at my baptism. He may not see it as radical, but their ordination into the priesthood is momentous in the history of both churches. A personal ordinariate, similar to a diocese, was set up by Pope Benedict, allowing disaffected Anglicans to join the Roman Catholic Church. The former bishops will be the first priests of the personal ordinariate in England and Wales, but significantly all three men are married, despite celibacy being widely believed to be fundamental for Roman Catholic priests. That's no problem because we already have uh, many former uh, Anglican clergy who have become Catholic priests who are married and they've been welcomed. The ordination of women within the Anglican Church has caused a rift, with many leaving unable to accept the direction of the Church of England. It's very difficult to go back on the theology that we decided, you know, um, 15 years ago. I mean, it's it's it's, it's a very uh, we decided that that women should be ordained and that women were. Uh, equal to men in, in their calling to ordination within the Church of England. And once you've decided that, it's a bit of a one-way street. You can't then reverse it and say, well, only on the lower levels, never on the high levels. It seems a bit like um, saying that, that people, women should be teachers but not headmistresses. Some have described the Pope's new wing of the Catholic Church as convenient and feel he's taken advantage of a difficult situation. Some Anglicans believe that the Pope is exacerbating divisions within the Church of England, but actually I think he's making clearer where the fault line always lay. There were many Anglicans who were essentially Roman Catholics in their beliefs. Now is a moment at which they're identifying fully as Roman Catholics, and in a sense, the Pope is clarifying the situation. It's anticipated up to 50 Anglican clergy may become members of the Ordinariate. For some, it's a division in the Church of England. For others, an open door for unhappy Anglicans. Jane Dubois, Sky News, Westminster Cathedral. Let's speak now to Ruth Gladhill, Religious Affairs Correspondent for The Times. Thanks for joining us, Ruth. Well, this is just one of the twists of an evolution, isn't it? Well, it's more than that, I think. It's quite a dramatic development. And I don't think anyone expected, back in 2009, that the Pope would announce anything quite as radical as this. It's unprecedented, really. It's also unprecedented for three serving Anglican bishops actually during their working life to decide to move over altogether to Rome and to become ordained as priests. Married Anglican bishops as well. How does that work? Well, often before, um, and uh, married Anglican clergy have gone to Rome with their wives and become priests, and um, a bishop has gone before as well. And it is, uh, but he only became a priest. It is possible to do that. It's not unprecedented. And that's not as, as radical as people might imagine. It already happens in the Orthodox Church, for example, that priests can be married, although not bishops. And in this case, none of the former Anglican bishops can be, become bishops, Roman Catholic bishops, while their wives are still living. Is there a sense that the Vatican's been, I don't know, a little pr a bit predatory about this? It's been obviously had its eyes on this process for a long time, for as long as it's been going on, and thought, right, here's a way to... Uh, absorb back some of the Church of England in a funny way? But there has been some concern that this might have been a predatory action, but in fact that's not the case, as the Pope has made it clear repeatedly when he came on his visit here last year and more recently in the present statements 
uh, the Pope sees it as a response to a repeated requests by the Anglicans who were very distressed by the way the Church of England was moving towards the ordination of bishops in particular. And there was a crucial meeting of the General Synod in York when the Archbishops of Canterbury and York tried to get through a move to help traditionalists, to help those opposed to women bishops. And this was resisted by the Synod in a way that the traditionalists felt was, was quite cruel, actually, to them. And, and then they went really begging to Rome and said, please help. And so the Pope was really just responding to their desperation. In a brief, he was running out of time, but what is the, the objection in their hearts to women being ordained? It's tradition and the fact that um, Christ had male apostles. And that, so it's, it's basically a fundamentalist look at the, the teachings of the Bible. They believe that it's the truth, that um, men and women are um, equal in many ways, but that they are different and that they have different roles in life. All right, Ruth Gledhill, thanks very much indeed for joining us this evening on Sky News.